Hi guys, James at Rampant Lion Reviews again for you today with another beer review. For this one we are going to head to Belgium once again and we've got a beer that I'm really excited to review for you today. I tried this beer quite a long time ago and I finally got another bottle of it to review for you on the channel here. So for this one we are going to Locrista Hefte in Belgium, the Prof Brouwerij, who are of course known for hosting a lot of the gypsy breweries of Europe and we're going to have a taste of one of the beers from the Prof Brouwerij's own BVBA and a lot range and this is the Bloemen beer. Now the town of Locristi where this brewery is from is famous for its flowers and this is a special beer that is brewed with flowers and I've tried this a long time ago and it's really quite nice so I'm looking forward to doing a proper review of it on the channel for you here. But anyway, as is usual with my beer reviews then I'll tell you a little bit about the brewery. If you want to get straight to the tasting just fast forward, all the usual links are in the description below. That's the brewery website, the link to my future reviews that hopefully I can do from some of these BVBA and a lot beer from the Prof Brauerei. There's all the usual social media. Make sure you check that out. If you want to see more beer reviews, do subscribe to the channel. And as always, to those of you watching in Belgium, please do get in touch and let me know some of the other beers and breweries from Belgium that you guys would like to see me review. But anyway, just to tell you a little bit about the Prof Brauerei and Bloemen beer. So, as I mentioned to you, Bloemen beer is brewed at the Prof Brauerei in Locriste Heifte near Ghent in Belgium. You're talking just a little bit to the east. But Locriste is apparently very famous for its flowers and this beer is brewed using some of the local produce. I think it's tulips that they put into this, of course. That region of Belgium, Flanders, is the Dutch-speaking region. And the Netherlands and Flanders, of course, are very famous for their multicoloured kind of tulip fields. And I think it's tulips that go into this beer. But the beer itself is produced under the BVBA Andalot name. But other beers produced under this name from the Prof Brauerei include the Andalot ones, the Bottle Works, Klausnayer, uh, Kempisch, Prearis, Reinert, and also Zonderik as well. So there's quite a few different beers that the Prof Brauerei brew themselves, which is quite cool actually. I didn't know it until I actually went to research for this one. But the Prof Brauerei, as many of you all know, is a haven for Europe's gypsy, phantom and contract brewers. Some of the main guys that brew there, of course, are Mikeller, Nomada, Total and Mohawk, and there's many, many more as well. So there's quite a few different beers that the Prof Brauerei do themselves, as you may have heard. They've got a very kind of advanced facility too. Apparently it's quite robotic and things like that. There's a lot of interesting technology done there so it's somewhere that if you get the chance you maybe should go and have a look at if you're interested in brewing. And Locrista of course I think has a festival every year, a youth festival that's meant to be quite good so if you're in the area, if you're in the area around Ghent go and check out the Prof Brauerei in Locrista. So yeah that's all the information I could find on the brewery and the beer so let's get this guy out and we'll get on with the tasting then. As I say I'm looking forward to trying this one. I've had this beer for quite some time actually. I think, I can't remember when I got this, I think it was at Christmas time. But as you can see, here is the paper on this one when we stretch out. You can see Bloemen beer there with the nice little flowers. Just let you see that. And you can see that it is a plain bottle. I'll just bring up the camera and make sure you're actually seeing it. You can see it's one of these little kind of uh, stubby bottles in this, but it should be really nice. Nice paper, I do like that. I'm going to wrap this back up after I do the review. But let's get this guy open then and we'll get on with the tasting here. It should be really nice. So, as you can see, a nice kind of smoky opener once we pop the bubble. But let's get this guy out and we'll get it into the glass. We just need to watch with a, there'll probably be a, quite a big head on this one. This glass, of course, is a little bit smaller than my other one, so we're only going to pour probably about half yeah, we've actually got most of the bottle into it there, but we'll pour the rest a little bit later on. But as you can see, this beer is poured a really nice, kind of bright orangey colour, as you would expect. There's a solid finger of a frothy, slightly beigey coloured head. It's a kind of creamy beigey colour, this one. If I put my fingers behind the beer, you can see that it is, definitely is, quite hazy. I think it's fair to say a bright yellow, orange, amber. There's a few little bits of sediment floating around in the beer, some big bubbles sticking towards the side of the glass, but quite a few little ones going up towards the bottom of that head there. It looks really nice. I don't know if we'll fit the rest of the beer in actually. We'll put a little bit more into the glass. But yeah, let's have a look at the aroma of this one then. Yeah, so you can really smell. To me, this one really leans towards the honey actually. You can definitely, you can always tell the difference between honey and caramel because honey is just that little bit brighter, if that makes sense. Honey has a very distinct aroma in comparison to caramel, but there is a little bit of that richer caramel underneath it. And you can also smell some of the rich kind of bready character in there as well, the big doughy yeastiness. Maybe there's a little touch of kind of cinnamon or something like that. 
There is a definite spicy character to the yeastiness in this beer too. Maybe even a little bit of earthy character, but for me at the forefront of the beer really is the honey. And in the background you're getting some of the floral, grassy character in there. Maybe there's a little bit of vanilla there mixing in with the honey and a bit of kind of maybe a woody, almost nutty character to this beer as well. But yeah, you can really pick that up in this one. There's maybe a little touch of earthiness to this beer too. It's got a really interesting aroma. The floral and kind of herbal character of this mixes in really nicely with the honey aspect of the beer. But yeah, I'd stick with that. You know, a nice big bready Belgian yeast. The honey is quite prominent in this one. You can say that it's specifically honey. Some richer caramel, a bit of vanilla in there, some kind of woody, nutty elements to the beer as well. A bit of spice, you know, some floral, aromatic grassiness. And also, you know, a little bit of slightly earthy character as well. The herbal kind of thing from the flowers is really interesting too. You can definitely smell that it's got a bit of floral character to it, so mainly it's a kind of honey and floral beer. So without further ado then, let's get stuck into this guy. So this is the Blomen beer, a beer from Locriste in Belgium near Ghent that is brewed with local flowers, so it should be interesting. Skål! Yeah, that's really nice. Very, very good beer as I remember it. So, on first taste with this one, as you would expect, there's a really nice kind of, um, as you say, there's a really nice sort of sweet honey character comes off of this beer right away. And yeah, you can hear the drunk Swedes just outside my window. They go crazy when they get drunk. They're very reserved normally, but as soon as it becomes Saturday night and things, they do go out and get drunk. You can probably hear a few cries from outside the window there. But yeah, it's got a really nice sweet honey character that just comes in. The bready, yeasty character that you normally expect of Belgian beers is a little bit less pronounced in this one, I have to say. But this is really nice and sweet. I remember this beer being just very, very good and I, I did enjoy it. And it's very nice once again. This one is, is matured a little bit. I bought this beer when I came back from Australia, which was would have been about just over a year ago now, so it has been in the bottle a little bit, and it's come across a little bit sweeter than I remember trying it originally. I think the one I tried actually in the bar in uh, Six Degrees North in Aberdeen was a bit fresher than this. But yeah, this is really nice. So yeah, in the middle of the palate, you do have a little bit of a kind of bready, malty character in there, that yeastiness is there, but that's very mild. On top of it you've got the sweet caramel, but it really leans more towards the honey, and the honey is quite prominent in this. It's got a nice, really quite sharp sweetness to it. There's a little bit of vanilla in there, maybe like a tiny bit of a woody nutty character, but that's very, very mild. It really does lean very heavily towards the sweet character from the honey. That's really nice. There is a teeny, teeny little bit of spicy character, but like I say, for me, the palate is dominated by the honey. But around the edge of the, the, the palate there, you, in the aftertaste, the sweetness just starts to dissipate a little bit. Then you get some of these floral and slightly herbal characters coming out of this beer. It's really nice. That's a beautiful beer. I mean, I have to admit, I really do enjoy it. There's a lot of people who say, oh, you know, like West Fletcher and 12 and all of these things. Um, you know, these are the best beers from Belgium, but you get a lot of very quirky beers like this one, which are really, really good. There is maybe, and later on in the taste, there is maybe just a little bit of cinnamon or something in this beer that's coming out, and it's really nice, but the, the floral um, grassy and slightly herbal characters in this beer, they start to come out in the aftertaste, you can feel them around the edge of the palate and they're really nice, they just start to build up as you move more and more into the aftertaste. This beer is nicely done, the flavours are very well blended, it's quite a big malty sweet beer, as I say the honey is the most prominent part on this one, but then you start to get more of the complex flavours coming out of this as you go into the aftertaste, it's a very very good beer. It's quite, 
The mouth feel is quite interesting too, so it's mid-bodied, it's quite a an oily kind of sticky mouthfeel that this one has. There is a good bit of carbonation there as well and it's very small bubbles, you can feel that at the front of the tongue. As I said, it's very malty, it's very sweet, there is a little bit of the bready character in there, a little bit of spiciness and as you move into the aftertaste you get just a little bit of dryness from that floral and herbal character in this one. It's very nicely done, there's no two doubts in my mind about that. Um, it's a very quirky beer, it's one that you really have to try for yourself and see what you think because there's really not many other beers like this around, if any. You know, this is a pretty special beer and, you know, it's from a brewery who tend to produce some pretty awesome things even if they are for other people but if you enjoy honey beers, like if you enjoy meats and things like that, for me, this one is very similar to a mead actually, so if you enjoy that sort of thing then I would recommend you have a go with this guy. The honey flavours in this one are absolutely beautiful, you know. I'd absolutely love to get a crate of this beer, it's really nice. So yeah, it's a very, very good beer. Um, I can't really say much more than that on this one. You have to try it for yourself and see what you think. It's cool to have something produced from the Prof Brow that is very, very local to them. Though Christie, like I say, is famous for its flowers. And of course, brewing beer with flowers is something that's been done before with like um, hibiscus wet beers and things like that, which is quite interesting. I think Toul have done one with some local flowers from uh, Locriste as well. So it's quite an interesting it's quite an interesting concept and one that I'll need to look a bit more into. But yeah, this has been an awesome beer to review for you. The Bloemen beer from BVBA and a lot part of the Prof Brauerei in Locriste Heft in Belgium. A very, very quirky beer, very honeyish, some nice floral aspects to the beer as well. Really quirky. You need to try this one for yourself to see what it's all about. But I've really enjoyed this one. There will be more Belgian beers coming up in the next little while. I definitely want to review more of those on the channel, but as always, if you have tried this beer yourself, let me know your own thoughts on it in the comments section below. Always interesting to hear from you guys watching the videos. Until the next time, please like, subscribe, share, all the usual YouTube stuff. Let me know what your favourite beers out of the Andalot range from the Prof Brewer I are as well. I'd love to review more of these, but thank you once again for watching, and I will catch you soon with my next beer review. Make sure you go and check out Bloemen Beer, a very, very quirky Belgian beer. Until the next time, it's Slanjage now. Let me know some Belgian beers that I should be reviewing. Cheers.